Welcome to our Super Mario Odyssey setup. First, something I think is just a nice little point is we've got a little light up Mario right here entering our piping system. They're actually holding this up using this piece of clear acrylic sheet, which does a really good job of making it look like it's floating if you're not like right up looking at it to notice that it's actually there hanging in space. Then it's going into our pipe network, which we actually made ourselves. We picked up some four inch PVC pipe, spray painted it with a green and set all this up to create a nice little border for our television as well as hiding the stand that it's sitting on. Now this is, of course, is all of our old school traditional Mario stuff that we wanted to show off, but to get in a little bit of the Odyssey feeling, one of the things that I think really ties this whole setup together is the set of posters we have up above. We got one of the major promotional images that was a high res and made our own personal posters that are printed on three separate sheets. One of the things I really love about how it worked out in this setup is that we're using those hue strips we used before on the bar that's coming out and it fills in the spaces between them with that traditional series red and a little bit of green that just looks so nice. We wouldn't be complete without having Cappy on top of our TV. And then of course, none of this would actually make any sense at all if we didn't have a Switch setup going on right here. Now, I love that we're actually set up having the Switch dock sitting on this end of the pipe, which originally we had this idea in mind where we thought it'd be really cool to run the cable management through the pipes themselves. But then we realized that was kind of dumb because where the dock is relative to the TV, we could just hook it up right here. So we're still using the pipe to hide it by putting it behind, but it's not running through it. Great idea though, if you want to do something similar to this. Now for the Switch dock itself, something we want to do that would give a little more of the Mario style, but also serve a functional purpose, is we grabbed one of these covers right here off of Etsy. Now there's a whole bunch of these you can find, different designs of Mario's not your thing, there's Zelda and all kinds of other stuff on there. But the main benefit of this is, one, gives a little more style to your dock, but two, more importantly, this actually acts as a screen protector for your Switch, because as some of you know, if you're not very careful putting your Switch in and out of the dock, you might end up scratching the screen, especially if you don't have a protector on it. So this is a really nice little thing to have. If you just wanna make sure that you're playing stuff in docked and don't mess up your Switch. Now, as for the Joy-Cons that we're using to accent the system, yes, there is an official Mario Red, but with the cover slip we're using, I thought it just looked like a bit too much. So instead, we opted to go with these special custom Nintendo ones that we've gotten before, which show off a little more old school Nintendo flavor and look really good with the Mario slipcover. You know, something I really love about Super Mario Odyssey that really inspired this setup is the fusion of new and old school Mario. You know, it's this new Mario game, it has new mechanics. I mean, all the stuff with Cappy is this insane new fun mechanic that opens up so many things, but at the same time, it's tapping into a lot of the old school stuff too. There's a lot of elements from Mario 64 and even from Mario before that. I mean, there's parts of levels where you actually enter a 2D world and play an old school Mario game in this beautiful 3D world. So that's something I really wanted to get across in the setup where we're doing this mixture of Odyssey and Classic at the same time. Now before we end the video, I want to take a second to thank Lacey for coming out today and shooting this video with us. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, you know, I really think the music aspect is really just what tied this video together. So you actually have a cover of this song on your own channel, yes. which people can find you at... Lacey Johnson Music on YouTube. Yeah, so check that out guys, and we'll see you guys later.